Hey, brother. Then, as you know, I'm a very proud Slytherin and will defend the house to no end. But what I'm not necessarily a fan of is the sorting process as a whole. I think there are quite a few issues with it. So today, I'm going to ask the question, should Hogwarts students be re-sorted? <laughs> Ben, I have always been fascinated by the sorting process at Hogwarts, and I mean, I get it. I was on one of four teams when I was in sixth grade, but that was really more a mechanism to group students to coordinate lunch schedules and what set of teachers you had and what elective you were taking. I was on the investigators. We all played brass instruments. But that's not the case at Hogwarts, Ben. Lunch seems to last forever, and they all have the same teachers regardless of what house they're sorted into. Plus, they're not sorted by interest, they're sorted by personality traits. Personality traits which are reflective of their 11 year old selves and I mean if ever there is a time you were about to start going through some changes it is between the ages of 11 and 18 so then maybe it's a question of how the sorting hat actually works is it basing it off your 11 year old self or can it see into your heart and soul and predict what kind of person you will become and sort accordingly I mean the sorting hat has been shown to have some sort of prophecy related powers to it it does give warnings about the future in the fifth book but even if the sorting hat is that powerful it brings up the question, why are we even sorting according to personalities? And why these four specific personality traits? Ambition, courage, determination, and cleverness? This is the most puzzling of all because even though it seems like some of those are good attributes for students, they were not chosen for academic reasons. They are chosen based on what the founders thought were important. And let's be honest, how important is bravery to being a student? I mean, yes, Harry puts it to very good use but you have to think, in a regular school year, it cannot possibly come up that much. Ugh, it's just another example of how the wizarding world is plagued by traditions. I mean, can anyone explain to me how a quill is better than a pen or a pencil? Anyone? But besides that, these four personality traits are not, like, exclusive. They often coexist within the same human being and develop over time. Wouldn't it make more sense to sort students based on what they're interested in or what they're good at? You know, kind of like a college major? For example, if you're really good at charms, wouldn't it make more sense to be around different students that are all really good and interested at charms rather than a bunch of people who are not interested but, hey, They've got the same outlook on life as you. Because as important as diversity is across any spectrum, race, gender, ethnicity, you have to think personality diversity is a very important thing that Hogwarts is sorely missing. Because Hogwarts is all about comfort zones. I mean, why learn to interact with different kinds of people when you can just constantly be reassured by all the like-minded people you're constantly surrounded by? But Jay, Hogwarts has been churning out great students for hundreds of years. What's the big fuss? What's the danger? What's it hurting? Well, I'll tell you the danger. This sort of, like, personality grouping, only giving people reassured ways of thinking, is a breeding ground for elitist thinking. When you're not exposed to other kinds of thinking to diversify the way you look at things, when you're only surrounded by yes men and people who are thinking the exact same as you, you get a very narrow view of the world and you think that the way you think is exactly right for everyone else, even though the people up in the North Tower are thinking very differently from you. And it is this kind of one-way, non-diversified thinking that leads to these weird traditional wizarding world ways, why they're so slow to advance into anything that makes so much more sense. This is the kind of sorting that leads to a Voldemort, that leads to this weird, dark history of the Slytherin house, because you have all these people who think purebloods are the only kind of wizard that should exist, and you keep grouping them all together. No one's there to diversify that out of them to realize, hey, hey, these muggle-born students are really good at magic and we should teach them too. Instead, you continue that line of thinking for centuries and this is the result. There's that famous line, there's not a witch or wizard who went bad that wasn't from Slytherin. And while that's not necessarily true, if you take a step back, you can say it again a little bit differently. There's not a witch or wizard who went bad that wasn't from Hogwarts. Because we see a couple other wizarding schools at the Triwizard Tournament, and they don't seem like they've got this weird sorting process. They just have one unified student body who can support their champion, while Hogwarts is so divided amongst itself that it's not even all rooting for Cedric or Harry. I mean, there are students rooting for the other schools. What is that? Ben, my question for you and everyone else is, what do you think? Should Hogwarts students be resorted maybe a couple years later after they've developed 
develop their traits. Maybe they should wait a couple years to be sorted at all so that whole first freshman class can mingle and learn what kind of people they really are. Or maybe they're not sorted by personality traits at all. I don't know. Let me know down in the towel section below and I will see you in another life, brother. These socks are amazing. You know what they never really address in Harry Potter is how young wizards are getting educated before Hogwarts. Is there like wizard elementary school? Because like certainly muggle kids would go to that before they realized they were wizards. They would have like a huge step up if you were like only homeschooled. I mean, maybe all wizarding parents are really good teachers too. I, what? What?